To God be the glory, the honor, and the praise. I thank him for his grace and mercy, his great love. Thank you. You know, you come off, you come home and you come off three uh, big wins in, in the league and uh, two really good road wins. Uh, Sometimes I think it's a mindset, you know. You, uh, you got to you gotta stay hungry and you, you can't... Uh, can't be satisfied. Uh, I thought uh, Miami played with more hunger. You know, they, they played uh, more the right word was. Uh, you know, you just uh, being home. Really want the fire and the emotion. You want to get the crowd into the game, and you know, uh, I, I don't think uh, from what the right word is, is from a deep down to the gut, from the gut, like uh, hunger. You know, uh, you know, I, I didn't see that in us as a team. No, some, uh, I thought defensively in the first half, uh, we didn't guard you know, like we should have. They shot too well from the field. You know, they, free throws make a difference. They're a good free throw shooting team, 22 out of 26. We were 9 for 17. But we didn't quit, and we, we probably showed more emotion and fire we hit some threes fighting back at the end than we did uh, doing the body of the game. But this league, uh, every game uh, to me uh, stands on its own merits. You know, you, you can say, well, this team is favored and that team is favored. You know, you, you have to, when you get between the lines, uh, you know, you, if you the team that does little things and plays with little, <clears throat> plays from the gut with some, some, some gut wrenching, hunger, and <coughs> toughness. That's usually the team that's going to come up, come out on top. And uh, you know, this was a concerning game for me coming off the three uh, wins and a big win at Ohio that. Uh, we, we, we still had a lot to, you know, every game we did, we still had a lot, lot to win, a lot to prove, a lot to play for. So, uh, but I get, I get my, my credit, you know, the guys, uh, they, uh, they try to take away your big guys, they get away with playing a small team, and uh, you know, that's something that we really couldn't take advantage of with our size. Kid Will Sullivan. Some big threes, and you know, we played the four for them at times. At six four, six three, six four. And, uh, their bench game was left. So hopefully we learn from it. And, and, and it's a long season. And you, you can't. Uh, you got to be able to bounce back in this league. You got to be resilient, and, and we will. How disconcerting is it that you know you for you that that you're using things like lack of Players use lack of focus. So you, 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 you're, I'm not sure if you said lack of fire, but hearing lack of fire. How disconcerting is that for you? You're hearing it now at this point in the season? When uh, no, 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 no. Uh, we just won. We, I mean, we just, we just played and, and won three games and two on the road. So you, you got to be focused and you got to play from the gut to do that. What happened today? Uh, you know. You, you're not making any excuses. You, 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 
you, hey, Miami had to play three games in six games. You know, you, you, they did. They had the same schedule. I think Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday. So really, you, you don't make excuses. Uh, uh, I've always been a competitor, but I don't play. You know, uh, but I, I tell our guys, you, you know, you can't have no regrets. You know, every game you play, once it's gone. You know, it's gone. You can't get it back. But I think that's the challenge of every every team in the America. You know, uh, to be play at that consistent, emotional, uh, uh, heartfelt, uh, just have, keeping that humble. I mean, and it's sometimes it's even tougher after you've had success. You know, so I'm, I, I don't, I'm not. A, I've been around basketball a long time. Uh, I don't. I don't expect these. I think sometimes uh, fans, uh, public, you know, you home, you won three games in a row. They say they expect easy, but it, it doesn't work that way. You have to. You have to be willing to grind. And uh, I thought. Uh, you know, it wasn't easy for us. You know, we couldn't, you know, we, offensively, you know, they, they played a lot of zone and match up, so, you know, we had to make basketball plays. And it wasn't easy. Our big guys were sagging in, and, you know, we had to make shots, and we, we hit 10 threes. Uh, our perimeter guys made some shots, but, you know, to me, where, I want us to be able to take advantage of our size, but uh, how you do that, a lot of it, you know, you, you just got to grind. And, uh, they scored off our turnovers, 18 points off turnovers, and they, they were 22 for 26 on the line. So that was a big difference in the game, statistically speaking. You know, that was a big, big difference in the game. So uh, we, had to, we had to try to make things happen in other ways. And, in that uh, stretch where you had cut it to 47, 45, like eight, nine minutes ago, the, the offense struggled after that. In your eyes, what did you see that? You know what? I got to watch film. Probably had turnovers. I'm not sure. And, and uh, we took a, you know, for us to take 23 threes is a lot of perimeter shots for us. Uh, I think they got some easy baskets in transition off turnovers, and they made their free throws. Uh, I thought we missed some, you know, we missed some chippies. I chippies, you know, we missed some shots we could have made around the basket. But uh, in the past, we've been able to get stops. You know, you think about the games. I mean, we scored 65 points. You know, we beat Ohio 58-56. I mean, in theory, you know. I, I don't know, maybe Miami had 70 points a game in the back, but uh, we've been able to get stops. You know? Even if we weren't scoring, we've been able to get stops. And they shot 26 free throws in their bench. You know, Willie Moore shot 12. I know he got fouled late round or something, but I just thought we, we just, the grind part of the game, the stops, the defense, uh, in order to sustain, if you get a little sluggish offensively, we didn't do it. In my, but to me, Miami's a grind team. That's how they play. They grind. You know, uh, so if you if it's not easy and you, uh, you you know the game is not flowing offensively easy, then you got you know I mean, you got to be willing and able to grind too. So I, I, you know I give Miami credit. You know, they, uh, they they grind. Coach, what do you and something like this, what do you kind of take away as a positive going into the game? Well, you got to look at the whole picture. You know, you know, it's a uh, as, as I as I look around sports uh, and basketball, it, it's not an exact science. Every game is unique in itself. You know, uh, I think. Uh, 
the balance in this league on any given day. Uh, if you're willing to grind, if you, you play well, you're able to make some shots and close games out, and do what you do, exert your will. So I, I think every game is different. Hey, you asked me this, what was your question again? I said, what do you think way to positive? Okay, you know, you, 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 going into this game, we should have had everything going for us, right? You win three games in a row, and you're coming home. So, to say, you know, hey, you lost, you're going on the road to Eastern, you know, that's a unique opportunity, and, and hopefully, you're hungry and you want to you want to bounce back and I, and I know we will I mean it, it it's not it, no game is easy so I, I don't expect it. I, I understand you know basketball competitive uh, sports it's not easy it's not easy you know the shots not gonna come easy you, 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 the defense not easy the rebound not easy uh, the possessions aren't easy if you want easy this this is a it's, it's just it, you're in the wrong uh, in the wrong field. You got to fight for everything you get, everything. And we have, we've done it. Hey, you know, we we bounce back. This is one loss, one loss. So you know, you got you got to we, we bounce back, and I expect us to bounce. Back. But uh, we talked to me what a half hour the game is in. We talked to players a half twenty minutes after the game in again. It just in all sorts of situations like that. Uh, you know what? It's just uh, when everybody feels right, uh, it, it'll tell them when they're ready to play. So, you know, it is what it is. You know? So, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. With Zan, was did he re injure something or was it just a setback? Or what's. what's you know what? Uh, Anytime you, you have knee surgery, and uh, you also, uh, first time freshman Division One basketball player in the grind of the, the max season, three three games a week, uh, it, there's, a, there's an element of wear and tear, and you gotta be up for the grind. So I think with him, he's still adjusting. You know, his knee, you know, practice, all this, you know, just, being able to you know, physically figure out you know, what his knee can and can't you know, handle right now. So, you know, he's still, you know, time, you know, time, his knee will get stronger to be able to handle the grind with time, but I think uh, it's something, you know, you're going to have to deal with, you know, day to day, you do it. I had a question to coach on the kind of the same topic. Is Chauncey doing all right? I mean, is he rehabbing now for the knee surgery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, had a, he, he, he had a little setback where uh, he got an infection in the circuit of the knee. And that was uh, painful and caused swelling. So, uh, he, you know, he's been on uh, antibiotics for month. So now his knee, the infection seems to be, you know, you got to keep taking that body to make sure it's gone. But uh, he's able to do his rehab, he's putting weight on it, he's uh, walking with crutches still, you know, with the weather being so bad, but he's able to put weight on, he's able to drive. You know, he's progressing, but the, the infection set him back. Uh, but thank God, you know, he's, uh, he's getting better. So. Does he come to the games or does he? Yeah, sometimes he watches the game in the uh, training room. In the training room. Yeah, yeah. But he's, he's been coming around a little more. Cause he's able to drive and uh, he can walk and put weight on his knee with crutches. It's not 100% where he's walking totally. But. So he, he's progressing. But the infection, had, we had to get that cleared up. So thank God uh, it seems to be cleared, cleared up or cleared up. 